It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to a dreary, another, <laughs> I feel like I say this all the time, a Every dreary Sunday, Chad. Sunday in Kentucky. Um, and if you're seeing a red dot... Do not adjust your monitors. Where is it? Boop, boop. I, if you're seeing it. I got you. Uh, it is there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Trying a different camera. Hadn't uh, thought I got all the information off the screen. <clears throat> Apparently the record button carries through. So, whoops. We'll just, just steal ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore it. Ignore that red dot. It's, <laughs> it's like the knight has a big pimple or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big zit. Um, so, we're going to start drinking some McKenna because we got a cool McKenna story. To tell you. Yes. And then we're going to uncork uh, the bottle that Carl Ivy sent us, the uh, Bell Mead Reserve Cast Strength. Yep. Which we also drank some last night, which is another story. <laughs> <laughs> and while we do all this, we're going to be telling. Um, stories about bourbon and beyond from yesterday which was yesterday so if you want to get yeah. to the part where we drink on this mckenna and we drink on the uh bell mead cast or reserve um chad will kindly put the timestamps down in the comments so you can skip ahead if you'd like but we've got some pretty cool stories so you might want to stick around and listen to those you might um so you, you go ahead and pour that yes, up go ahead and, go ahead and so uh sample shout out this week uh jim shannon reached out yes. to us through email and this is so nice you guys so those of you who watch regularly have seen some of our episodes watched our episode with the aussies know that i we both love but i've been very vocal about my love for um this blends la maison de whiskey pick so jim reached out and was like hey i helped work on the original artwork for that bottle i have a signed print for you oh isn't that cool well, this way this way, <laughs> this way. There we go. Look at it. Yeah. Isn't that neat? So we're going to get that framed up. It has our name. It's signed to us. Very excited yes. about that. Limited edition. So thank you. That's awesome. Really excited. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So where to begin? Um, I see a lot of questions flowing in. So let me just scan these really quick. Uh, Chad, do you want to tell them about where we were yesterday and what it is in case some of the people don't know what it is. Yeah, so Bourbon and Beyond, uh, it is a, well, <laughs> supposed to be a two-day festival. It got canceled today because of the weather. Um, <clears throat> City of Louisville said, uh, yeah, you got to cancel it because it's unsafe. And it rained a lot yesterday. We were there in mm -hmm. the rain. And, yeah, it got very muddy. Um, but it's basically, it's a, it's a concert series. There's, like, this year there was Lenny Kravitz, Cheryl yeah. Crow, John Mayer, John Mayer, Sting, there was supposed, supposed to be, to be Sting, Sting today. The Counting Crows, the Counting Crows, um, yeah, Robert Plant. But yeah. that didn't happen because it was so muddy that they were like, "You can't yeah. safely have people out here." Yeah, so it's basically yeah, it's an outdoor concert series, and then there's all these like bourbon seminars, workshops, and and things around that you can go to and uh, and you can drink more bourbon, mm -hmm. and it, and it's awesome. So that's why and we're that's both we kind did. of. We might be a little bit lower energy sure. today. So, disclaimer, side note, the reason that we changed, for those of you who didn't read it, the reason that we changed the theme of this week's episode, we were going to do the Kentucky Bourbon Trail and drinking, you know, just kind of take the trail here with you. Uh, we are still going to do that in the future. Today is not the day for that. Today just wasn't us. the day for it. It, it was just... wasn't. It, it would have been tough and we just would have been really like low like, energy about it. It would have been like, and, uh... <laughs> do we have to, please? <laughs> My liver. I mean, this is a little hair of the dog right here. Yes, um, exactly. <clears throat> so stay tuned for that one in the future because we yeah. will do it, just not following that the day we had yesterday. Yes. Um, so we showed up and there was bourbon. Uh, when we got there, it wasn't raining, actually. It was pretty dry. Everything was really nice. It's a mm -hmm. really awesome outdoor space for this. The way they organize it is great. Yes. Um, so we hit a couple seminars. Uh, first, we kind of mm. wandered around. Well, the first thing that we did was walk up to the Big Bourbon Bar, and we got a pour of Wild Turkey 101, as we were talking about in the comments. Yeah. Um, because the Bourbon Bar, basically the cheapest thing you could get, I think, was around nine, 8 or $9, and up to like 14 or $15. It all just depends on what you want. So Wild Turkey 101 was $10. It was like the same price as a lot of others, but it was the highest proof. So we were like, duh, that's yeah. what we're going to get. Yeah. We got one of those. Then we ran into our friend uh, Chris Rose from the Lexington Bourbon Society, and he was like, let me tell you about this hidden secret called the Buffalo Trace Booth. Um, and it was sort of like a tiny house that they built, and you walk inside, and there's a bar. <laughs> the house that Buffalo Trace built. built. And you, so you walk inside, and he was like, it's rumored that everything in there is $15, which 
is expensive, but compared to what was at the Big Bourbon Bar, was actually really reasonable when you consider what was in there. Yes. It turned out that Buffalo Trace was $10, mm -hmm. but everything else is 15 But you're talking about Stag Jr., Elmer T. Lee, John J. Bowman Single Barrel, mm -hmm. uh, Weller 12-Year, E.H. Taylor Small Batch Single Barrel Rye, and barrel proof, barrel, barrel proof, proof, barrel proof, barrel, barrel proof, which is what we got. I think both times. Yeah, we got both times. Yeah, because that's you say just Stag Junior. Yeah, Stag yeah, Junior. We got, but we got E. H. Taylor barrel proof. Uh, yeah. both times we went mm -hmm. in there. So this is where the trouble started. <laughs> so we both had our one on one at this point, and Chad was like, "Uh, well, this is great, but let's consolidate because I want that barrel proof." So we did yeah. that. Uh, and then we walked over to go to one of the seminars, uh, which was a mixology seminar with Peggy No Stevens. Uh, and for those of you who watch regularly, we did a live a couple months ago with her about food and bourbon pairings. So yeah. um, she's a girl. Mm -hmm. Love Peggy. She's Love the Peggy. best. Um, so we saw that she was doing a mixology session with a Jim Beam ambassador and um, Molly Wellman. So for those of you who've been to Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati, you would know her. She owns a bar call uh, the Old Kentucky Bourbon Bar, another bar called Japs. She does a lot of craft cocktails, and so she made this cocktail called Remember the Main, which you should go to any of her restaurants mm. ever if you can and get one, because it is delicious. I don't know what she put in there, but I know she coated the glass with absinthe, which I've never seen anyone yeah, do before. Yeah, it was like, it was a little wild. bit of absinthe then, and then she was like doing this to just coat it around mm -hmm. in the glass and then poured everything else in. and. And before the the uh, the uh, beam ambassador, I can't remember her name. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but she made a uh, smoky old a smoked fashion. old fashioned. She made a smoking box out of a yeah. Booker's box, so she like drilled a small hole in the back of the box. Yeah, so she like drilled a hole back here, and then put a shelf right mm -hmm. about here, just so you know. And then so you lift this up. You set your drink inside. You set your drink inside, and then close it, and then one of those. Smoker things. It has like a tube. You put wood chips yeah. in it. Yeah. You, it's like a light. It looks like a lighter, except for it's got a tube on the end of it. So you stick that tube into the back of the box, and it creates smoke. And so you've smoked your cocktail. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So actually, Perry was. Uh, they don't allow any video media there, so they only allowed podcasts and things. So Perry, who is not in the chat right now because he was he's off still doing. Still in Louisville. He's still in Louisville. Um. He got to do like a behind the scenes media stuff. So he right. was actually part of the panel that got to taste the cocktails mm -hmm. and talk about it and stuff. So yeah. Perry, afterwards. Perry of This Is My Bourbon Podcast, if you're not. Correct. If, if you're, you're regular in here, you, you see him in the chat and you know oh. what we're talking about. But for, for those who might not. True. Good call. Yeah. Um, but let's hit pause on the story. Okay. And do some McKenna. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this one uh, is from 2006. This is from March 14th, 2006 this is when it was uh, barreled, and of course it was bottled 10 years after that. Mm. Um, but we want to drink on this McKenna, and this comes later in the story, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get there. But basically, we had a 1995 McKenna, McKenna just kind of known as the green label back mm -hmm. when it was all just kind of, it, it needed a It, needed it a rehaul. needed a I mean, it's beautiful because it's... Like, more vintage. Like, aw. Yeah. <laughs> you know? A, a different time. A different um, time, for sure, yeah. So, for those of you who have Instagram, I would just encourage you to pop on our um, profile real quick and watch what's left of our story, because it's some of it's still going. Yeah. Um, and you'd be able to see where we tried that and some other, just some other snippets from our day, so you can kind of get a feel for what we're talking about, uh, yep. if you're interested. Yep. So, anyways, this McKenna. Hmm. And for those... It's different than the other McKenna. So, we're over 100 now. For those who have just oh, wow. joined us, pay no attention to that red dot. Bang! Right just there. ignore it. Yeah, it's just a, it's a different camera this week. I tell them to ignore it by pointing it out. Right. Hey, look at this. And <laughs> hey, look then at just this. Don't look at it. Don't again. you look at that? <laughs> don't look at that red dot. Um. Mm. Oh, hey, mash and drum. Hey, mash and drum. What's up? He's here. Mm. Um. Mm. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is really good. I really like this bottle. We've had another bottle that's more recent years that I've been less of a fan of. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what happens when you get single barrels, but gosh, that 95, there's just... It was special. Now, that was, <gasps> um, I guess you could say donated by the Bottled and Bond Kitchen people mm -hmm. from Bottled the Barstown Bond. Bourbon Company mm -hmm. in Barstown, Kentucky. Um, and they we missed it, but they also had a Booker's Rye. 
So like everyone's clamoring for it. So you know, once they crack it, everyone's like, "Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me." <laughs> so they're just pouring little bits into you know little cups and stuff and passing them around. So we missed that one. We got the '95 McKenna. We got the McKenna. It was very magical. Mm-hmm. Enjoyed it quite a bit. And this yep. is you know, this is solid. This is too. really great. This is solid. I mean, honestly, this isn't going as poorly as I thought it would go. Not because of the McKenna, because of my personal uh, <laughs> state right now. <clears throat> I, I was like, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, Chad, I don't know about the life. <laughs> Feeling a little rough. No, um, we're not recording you. That's not what the red <laughs> dot means. We're, we're watching you. We're recording ourselves. <laughs> and here in about 20 minutes, it'll actually go off the screen. <laughs> Yay. Just a little um, how we make the sausage. Sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, McKenna, if you've never had it, you can't, if at this point it's a little harder to find because it's gotten a lot of press lately, uh, and rightfully so, it's a great deal. Well, I mean, it used to be like the hidden gem. Right. Now the secret's out. Now the secret's out, but you could get it, I remember just telling people a year or two ago, which maybe it's my fault, like, you'd be stupid not to pick up this bottle. It's $30, it's 10 years, single barrel, like, bottled and bond. What's, yeah, it's what's not fault. to love? It's my fault. It's all your fault. I told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks That's for good. congratulating on us um, on our Patreon goal. We're really excited about that. Yes. Thanks to all of you who made that happen. We're yes. now, this morning, we saw it yesterday when we were there, and we kind of did a little dance. Um, I did, at least. She did a dance. I did a jig. And then we were like, now we have to set our next level of goals. So oh, that'll be coming soon. And we have ideas. We yep. have ideas. We have ideas. And we are going to make some purchases. Actually, well, we kind of already made a purchase. We already got in. Um, Do you want to tell them? Sure. I mean, I Might mean, well. this camera might not be the best for live until I figure out how to not get some of the on-screen stuff <laughs> through the HDMI, <clears throat> but this camera it helps us out a lot with our vlogging episodes. So it's a full-frame sensor camera, it's wider, uh, it has autofocus mm -hmm. for vlogging and stuff, so it's just gonna, it's gonna help us out a lot for that type of stuff. Yep, so, so we've got that and some other, one. some other things up our sleeve that mm -hmm. we want to do and... And we'll release some more goals for yes. you. But um, just to take a quick detour, Wilson Raymond Torres said, Need a mid-price bourbon to go with my peaches, please. Some of you are probably going to disagree with me on this, but I'm going to recommend the Basil Hayden 2x2. Two two. Oh, yeah, good thought. It call. has like an apricot peach note that yep. I personally don't prefer just neat, but I love it with anything like peach or apricot. So like I have this apricot jam that I put with brie on crackers, and it's like they were made to go together. Yeah. So it's... I would use that for baking, like if you were going to make like a boozy peach pie or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be really good. So that would be my recommendation. Um, I, I don't think I, I don't, I don't think I had it, but, um, Lori Preston of Lexington Bourbon Society had some town branch that she put, uh, in a, in a jug and then put peaches in there Ooh. and let that sit for a while. And then it, it just really enhanced the, um, town branch bourbon. <clears throat> So, maybe that. Um, what were the bourbon bars we mentioned earlier? I think we only talked about the Buffalo Trace mini bar that was at Bourbon and Beyond. So, that yeah. was kind of a unique thing. Yep. And then Bottled and Bond Kitchen and Bar. Mm -hmm. It is a must. If you are in Bardstown, hmm. you have to go. Like, the atmosphere is really cool. Even if you just go for a drink or an appetizer or something, it's a must. Well, if you saw our story, when did we go? Last week? Two weeks ago? To the Bottled and Bond Kitchen. Oh, it was uh, last weekend. Last weekend. Um, if you saw our story, we had a, now I can't remember, 19, well, it was a, it was a pre-fire uh, Evan Williams, mm -hmm. so it was from the early 90s, and then we had a 1984 Old Carter 101 proof, 10 year. And wasn't that like $6? And it was $6, <laughs> and it was amazing. It was amazing. It was so good. So the cool thing about uh, this spot is, like, obviously they have the really rare vintage pours they've got stuff like that's you around the world there's like nine bottles and they've got oh we've got two of them in the back or whatever yeah so obviously they're going to be really high priced on that kind of stuff sure but they also it was nice to see that they also had some things that were very reasonable yeah and you can kind of choose where you want to fall on that yeah you know if you're on vacation and you're in treat yourself mode then <laughs> treat yourself go for it I'm, um, I'm glad that we went for it i mean not that six dollars is splurging at all but the other one was like it was like 15 15 yeah yeah but we actually like the six dollar one better. Um, but anyways, so where did we leave off in our story? 
Well, we went to the Buffalo Trace. Uh huh. And then we went and saw the Peggy No thing. Peggy No. And then at that point, when we were talking to Perry about his media credentials and stuff, yeah. Um, someone who worked the festival recognized us. I don't know if they want to be named because I don't know. Sure. But um, recognized us and was like, "Hey, sorry we couldn't get you guys in because the video regulations. That sucks. But here's this like basically a hospitality tent wristband, and we, you know, we're gonna figure something out for you guys next year." go have a good time, meet people, and get what you can out of the day. And I was like, well, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, so that was, the hospitality tent was sponsored by Bottled and Bond Kitchen and Bar, which is why we're talking about them so much. Uh, it was awesome. Da uh, Dan, who's the manager there, who gave us a tour when we were there last weekend, was there. He was super cool. And then David, um, who was the president? Mm -hmm. Yes. President and uh, might be also founder. Yes. He's, he's the big cheese. Yep. David's the big cheese, yeah. Um, so they were both there and couldn't have been more welcoming. Uh, they had like the nicest spread of meats and cheeses <laughs> and they had these fish tacos, which I checked. They're actually on their menu, yes. but it was like, um, tuna tartare with guacamole and sriracha mayo and a wonton taco. I couldn't stop eating them. <laughs> it was so we, good. We may have had about We may have had our fair share. They probably stopped bringing them because they were like, we gotta wait until that couple leaves. We gotta wait till, uh, Bourbon Night leaves. They're eating all the wonton tacos. <laughs> So anyways, uh -huh. so we went in there, He uh, Dan gave us a kind of a t tasting tour of what's coming as far as their collaboration brand that they do there, and Copper and Kings actually works oh, with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they basically said, these are preview bottles that will be out in the next six months-ish, but they're not ready yet, so we're giving them a little bit more time, and at that point, if we still feel like they're not ready, they may not come out at all. And I was, thought that that was so respectable, because when we tried them, I thought they were all delicious. Yeah. They could have easily put them out then. But they were like, no, it doesn't meet what we want it to be at, and so we're not ready yet. Yeah, some of them are like, you know, this one's probably got like another year before it's actually ready. And they even said, some of them, these might not ever make it to market. Which, I don't know if you said that. I wasn't listening. I did. I you weren't listening. listening to me. Okay. I was miles away. <laughs> uh, which is really admirable, which I think you probably also said. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. But anyway, so that happens. We got this tasting, and then later on, they broke out the McKenna. And we met a bunch of people back there, um, which we can get into. But another thing that they were pouring was this Bellmead Cast Drink Reserve. Yeah, because Bellmead was there. Right. So they work with the, um, the Barstown Bourbon Company. does like a lot of bottling. Uh, and assistance for, sm not smaller, I would just say medium-sized. Medium. Medium-sized medium. yes. distilleries yes. and groups. So uh, so we got to try this, and then, you know, coincidentally enough, Carl Ivey had just sent us this bottle a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now we now can uncork it for you. We're going to do another live uncorking, which... We have not tried the Conor McGregor whiskey. I don't think I've seen it yet. I've read a lot about it. I keep getting Google alerts about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love how their faux tax stamp is perforated. I would say, someone asked, I would say the the most, you know, hard to find thing that we got to try from Buffalo Trace was just the um, the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. I mean, they had Rock Hill Farms and Weller 12 and things like that, but they didn't have like antique collection or anything, which, I mean, why would they? Right. It would That would be crazy. <laughs> you can't fault them for that. Um, Let's see, what else we got? There we go. Not bad. Everything's not, still pretty intact. Bad. Well, yeah. Chad would like it if the stamp would stay over the cork. Well, but... I might put it back. <laughs> um, but tell them about the uh, the coffee liqueur that uh, Oh, yeah. They had this, like, have. pecan liqueur, and it was delicious. I would put that in so many things. It would be dangerous. It's so good that... I'm waving. They would... don't know who I'm waving at. It would be uh, actually probably trouble for me because I would be like, <laughs> well, it was only, I would like this every day. <laughs> I think it was, mm, what was it, 20 proof, 40 proof? I don't know, but it was so tasty. I think it might have been 40 proof. Yeah. <laughs> All right, pop. Nice. Da oh, someone just did the... Da -da -da -dum 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 -dum. Da -dum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was waving at Press Man because he said hi oh, to Sarah. So... We were in the tent, and we were meeting some people. Um, we met, uh, well, we didn't meet her. We ran into our friend Alicia, who does uh, Bourbon Sipper on Instagram and The Luscious Life. Uh, so we talked to her for a little bit. Um, Marianne Eves was there from Castle and Key. Uh, we saw Fred No, Fred Minnick, and Freddie Johnson, like, within a few minutes of each other. So Fred, we're, Fred, I was and joking. Fred, Fred, and Freddie. Um, Steve Akeley and Evan Haskell from the ABB Network mm -hmm. crew. Yep. Uh, saw Dave Pickerel from Whistlepig. Yep. And then who else? Oh, um, we ran into those guys from 
uh, so it's the two guys from Breaking Bourbon. I think it's Nick and, um, um, shoot, shoot, uh, Jordan, Jordan. Sorry, it's yeah. Nick, Eric, and Jordan that do it, but I'm 99% sure we met Nick and Jordan because at this point we you had can't been... fault us because we had a lot, you know, we had hospitality tent bourbon. So, which was free. Which, yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's the hospitality. So that's why things are a little fuzzy. But, uh, yeah, from, from Breaking Bourbon, a site that we go to often, um, and then also, uh, Bourboner, we met Blake, Blake mm -hmm. from Bourboner, which get his newsletter delivered into All my mailbox every Friday, yep. which is awesome. So it was really cool. Um, and then, uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny, yeah, from, uh, uh Bourbon, Bourbon Pursuit. Pursuit. Oh, so many names. So many names and the brain is not working <laughs> today. Uh, yeah, from Bourbon Pursuit, which we met, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, at the or a week ago, I guess at the Four Roses line. At the Four Roses line for the 130th. Yeah, uh, so anniversary. it was good to see him again too. Yeah, so, so we met, made a lot of friends. Uh, we ended up hanging yep. out with them for quite a bit of the night. But after we left the hospitality tent the first time, we you know I said we did the tasting tour of about seven or eight different things, and then we had the McKenna. So um, we were feeling pretty good at that point, and that's when it started to rain and get really muddy. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and um well that around that same time that we met all those guys, um, we kinda had a little LBS, Lexington Bourbon Society meetup. Kind of meet up there at the Big Bourbon tent, uh, Big Bourbon Bar, you know, Matt Preston, mm -hmm. um, who gave us <laughs> he was there as a, like a vendor. Mm -hmm. So he had some whoppers. Yes. Because he was doing a he was doing like a pairing. And a pairing. They, whoppers and... actually go really well with bourbon. Whopper yeah. candy. So yeah. this Halloween, remember that. Yeah. Actually, maybe, maybe we'll do something like we that. We should do something we should. like that. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was good. He did a, a panel later that he incorporated those with and, um, and stuff. And yeah. Mm, this is nice. So this. So I vaguely remember this from yesterday. Yeah. Uh, this particular one is batch number two. It's 116.1 proof. And again, we have Carl Ivey. To thank uh, for this. To thank for this. So thank you again, Carl. Yeah, I vaguely remember this too. <sighs> mm, it's such like a warm, welcoming nose. Yeah, it's it's, um, it's so toasty. Toasty and and like um, butterscotchy. Mm, yeah. Actually, it smells a lot like that butterscotch pie we had at mm. uh, Mamie's Kitchen in Bargetown. Unless you have that pie, well, don't talk about it. Because <laughs> now I just want it. I'll have to make one. I need to make a, a bourbon butterscotch pie. That's what I need to do. You do. Oh, but it's oh, got a... Oh, Brad, you were at Bourbon and Beyond yesterday and you had your stuff stolen by security. What? What? what That's stuff? crazy. Like from your locker? What the heck? I've... We need more info. Yeah, more info on that, please. Um, yeah. That sucks. I mean, we... It was... Once it started raining and became a muddy mess in the dark, it was sort of crazy. Like... When we tried to go back to our car, first of all, Lenny Kravitz was amazing. Uh, I asked Chad, I was like, do you think he's lip syncing? Because he sounded so good. I was like, there's no way it can be real. No, he but wasn't. No, he wasn't. He, wasn't. he was He was for real. Yeah. So He was for real. He was for he's real. He's a real deal. And so we hung out with all those guys um, from Bourboner and Bur um, Breaking Bourbon for most of the night. And then it was rainy. I had been getting rained on all day. I was tired. <laughs> I was we were like, in ponchos. We were in ponchos, just standing out there, watching Lenny Kravitz, which was great, but getting soaked. And I was just like, Chad, do you think we can go home now? <laughs> so at this point in the night, starting to come down. Yeah. I was like, I would like some food. I would like to go oh, be dry. Man. I mean, there is a lot of food there. There is a lot of food. Uh, and we had some we had some good stuff. I had a cheesesteak from someplace. You did. And I had a, the island noodles, which yeah. were really great. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's talk about this again, though. Are you getting like a peanut butter finish? No. No? <laughs> Not really. Oh, man. I mean... You get like a, a, a Girl Scout uh, peanut butter patty really? type of finish on this. Does that mean it's nutty? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. It's nutty. Drink, everybody. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nutty. Batch and proof. Batch two. Proof 116.2. That's 116.1, but it's okay. <laughs> Dang it. Mm. Ooh. No, that's good. That's really good. I think this might be better than the batch we had yesterday. I would love to agree with you, but I don't you think remember. I can't. You can't remember. I don't think I 
have enough to go off of. <laughs> Our thoughts on Buffalo Trace, uh, distiller wise or the or the or the label, both good. Both good. Yeah, both good. Both do it. Um, both do it for us. Yeah. Yep. Let me get this in the middle. There we go. There we go. It was gonna bother him. Yeah. We were, I don't know if you just came into the chat, but we, we were at the Buffalo Trace, like, uh, I want to say tent, but it was really like a building, like a little Booth. mini, little mini know. hut. Hut. <laughs> and we were drinking E.H. Taylor, Barrel Proof. And they had um, all these really cool barrel heads that, like, lined the inside of this bar. It was basically like yeah. a man cave. Yeah. And they you could enter to win to all the barrel heads, so we did. I and, haven't heard anything yet. And a guitar. Yet. I haven't heard anything yet. I would really like to win that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We should win that. That would be great. Thank you. Um, but yeah. They were saying about the drinking game. Every time it says Nettie, you have to take yeah. a drink. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Not so much today because we're really only drinking this. And right. Gonna... Yes. So. It's a it's a, uh, a more chill day. It's a, it's a low key. We just <laughs> want to keep it low key with you guys today. and Just hang out yeah. and just chat and... Uh, and answer some questions and stuff. Not get too far into this. Although, yeah. it's really, I'm not having as hard I of a mean, time I as I thought. I might have another pour of this. I might have another pour also. This is good. It is really so good. So this is the, the Nelson and uh, Greenbrier Distillery. So we've had, we had like the full line. They do a finish line. They have um, Madeira finish, Headed cognac combo. finish, and sherry finish as well. Which we had not last year, but the year before in New Orleans Bourbon Festival. Mm -hmm. And I actually really like the cognac finish, which I thought I would like the Madeira one because I like the Whistle Pig, the old world Madeira yeah. finish. Uh -huh. But I actually really like the cognac finish and I would still recommend it. But this is so good. Mm -hmm. Good job, Carl. <laughs> good job. You know us. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else happened in that tent? So, Ew, someone asked if we're brother and sister. They can't be for real. Come on. Oh, Rivers. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Rivers Cuomo from Weezer just gave us a super that's chat. That's not... Is that not Rivers? I, I don't know. Well, thank you. Oh, Sarah, we didn't... It's way over there. Okay, hold on. All right, she's going to get it. <laughs> We're going to do like a a headache version of the cowbell. <laughs> Let's do a, uh, a cowbell cheers. <laughs> no, ew. I feel ew also. Yeah, we're, that's, that's, that's pretty ew. No, we're not. Why are you lying? What? Ew, gross. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Shh. Okay. Cowbell cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Rivers Cuomo. Will yeah. and me Rivers Phoenix. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond other than just we look the same. I think it's because, oh, I see, because we're twins, because we both have the gray shirt with the gray writing and the hat. And I get it. Ha 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 Besides oh gosh, I mean, you you talked of... to Bernie Lovers for a minute. Yeah, and you know what? I feel like I can say this on air. ha 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 I, I gave my opinion that I probably wouldn't have if I hadn't if I wasn't so socially lubricate, lubricated. So I was talking to Bernie Lubbers. He's the whiskey professor. He works at Heaven Hill. And if you follow the news, you know that uh, Denny, Denny Potter mm -hmm. of Heaven Hill just uh, left to go over to Maker's Mark, which he actually started at Maker's Mark. So I understand it. You know, you want to go back to where you started and... and sure. But I told Bernie, because Bernie's like, yeah, I'm going to miss him. I'm like, yeah, Maker's Mark. What a waste of Denny's talents. <gasps> <laughs> Which I totally would not have said. Tammy! Is that okay? Oh, jeez. <sighs> <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> okay, so we are going to have that red dot. So. Okay, all better. Yeah. Tammy. Tammy, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Bing, bing. Cowbell cheers. Um, so, yeah, normally I would not say that. I, I told Sarah that. I told Perry that. I mean, that's my opinion. And I'll, and I'll back it up here as to why I, I say that. It's because Maker's Mark, they're only a weeded mash bill. They have three expressions right now. Mm -hmm. They used to just have the one. Now they have regular Makers, Four. 46, and cast drink. And private selection. In private selection, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can count that too. That's, yeah, their program. But, you know, Denny, 
and I know these these expressions were around before Denny. Pause. Monica, that's not funny. I think I'll actually puke today. What? She said if we should pull for the Jaeger bomb. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Today would be, oh, that sounds like my nightmare. But I will say that I did buy some Red Bull, so we kept, we then, we, we now can do that. No. But it's a uh, it's a hundred dollar super chat, uh, five hundred a day, five hundred today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. So yeah. So I was like, yeah, I kind of think it's a waste of his uh, his talent, only because they don't have anything that's rye based over there, uh, and you know he's he's involved with all these great rye mash bills and and you know everything and mm-hmm. Elijah Craig and Evan Williams and I was like, yeah. Uh, I may have put my foot in my mouth. I don't know, Denny. If you're watching, Bernie, if you're watching. We love you. I'm going to miss you, we though. Love you Heaven both. Hill's my favorite. Yeah, we're going to miss you. And actually, But I, it'll still be my favorite. I was just looking in the... Ah! Mm. I don't know what CA279 is, but thank you, nonetheless. Thank uh, you. P-Fan? PJ... What is that? PJ Fan 173. You get a cowbell. Cheers. <laughs> thank you for enjoying the channel. We appreciate that. Um, so... I don't know. What would you have done if you were in my shoes and you had that opinion? <laughs> would you have told Bernie? I probably would have just been like, hi. <laughs> love you. Love your stuff. I stand by. And I hope he... I really hope Denny gets to release a new expression there at Makers. That would be cool. You know? I still love him. And actually, I said to 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 um, to Bernie, I was like, yeah, I hope they like do some type of rye mash bill. And he was like, that ain't gonna happen. No. Well, yeah, you're right. It's makers. They, that, they're they're weeded. They're weeded. They stand by it forever, never. For never, never, never. Um, Forever. but yeah, I mean, I just I really do like the stuff they're doing with the private selection and the the suspended staves. I mean, I haven't had one of those that I didn't like. So, you know, I think that it'll be fine. It's funny because, and I wanted to mention this anyway. We got let me put this down. Yeah, we got this uh, issue of. Bourbon oh, Plus. Which it was a huge part of Bourbon <clears throat> and Beyond. Like, Peggy No Stevens writes for oh, them. Yeah. Fred Minnick, this is his deal. Carla um, Carlton. Yep. Is the editor, I believe. One day, maybe um, we can be a part of yeah. it. Yeah. We so can they, dream. They had these laying around, and it got pretty wet because, you know, we rolled it up and put it in the backpack, and it was raining. So it's a little worse for wear. But it's funny because uh, there's a... Oh, that ad. They're going to have to change that ad. ad. <laughs> right down here, Master Stiller, Denny Potter. Like, well... Well, this is an addition. Nothing like, more. every addition, it changes. So. Sure, sure. Um, the one thing I am sad about is that we did miss the UK game yesterday, which, uh, like, shock, our team is really good this year. <laughs> so, I mean, comp- I, you know, in comparison yeah. to previous years, but... I would like to watch that. I we like watch that. we like Maker's Cast Drink, too. What? I, w- I want that. You want this? <laughs> okay. Please, thank you. Yes. It's making me feel better. Good. Hair of the dog, everybody. Yep. That's good, thank Hair you. Hair of the dog. I don't want to get back in the same situation I was in yesterday. No. There was a point where I was like, if it were dry, I would take a nap in the grass. <laughs> Yeah, you did that last year. I did that last year. Well, it was just so warm. I felt like a cat in the sun. It was just like, you know, you reach that mid-afternoon point where, like, you just ate, you've had a few drinks, you're really tired, you just need a power nap. Plus, Cheryl Crow was there, and she was playing the uh, I Want to Soak Up Some Sun. So you're mm-hmm. like, I just want to do that, too. Perfect. I just want to be a cat yeah. and soak up the sun. But anyway, uh, this is their first issue, their premiere issue, oh. Bourbon Plus, and it's more about... The people, stories, and science behind the bottle. And I really like that, though, because, yeah. I mean, we they're, <laughs> the world is chock full of reviewers like us. Um, yeah. But it's cool to hear those those behind-the-scenes stories. Watch it. Hey! Hey, Mash and Drum! Thank you so much! Don't feel bad, Chad. I thought the same thing about... Um, okay, yeah. well, thank you. Same boat, then. Thank you, thank you. And then Matthew Wright uh, writes... What's your favorite peanut, peanut slash peanut butter bourbon? Um, I would have. There was a time I would have said Noah's milk because we had that one magic bottle. Yeah. But then we got a new bottle, and it wasn't quite so peanut peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you say now? Peanut butter. 
I was thinking something Jim, I mean, Jim Beam, I mean. Jim Beam, I think you get a special bottle of Booker's. Yeah, and it's like that creaminess that, yeah. to it. That That's yeah. what's really important in making it a peanut butter. Yeah. Um, but peanut, I would definitely say Jim Beam. What did I uh-huh. have recently? Was it the distiller's cut that I thought was so peanutty? It might have been the repeal batch. I need to start keeping notes on nutty things. <laughs> because he's going to ask. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, for mash and drums, since he's a percussionist... I'm just going to give a little, uh, and for you, Matthew, we give a cowbell cheers. <laughs> Thank you for both of those. We, we appreci- appreciate you both. Um, um, Monica, yeah. that's a really great idea. She said, can we find out if they'll give you a kickback if we subscribe to Bourbon Plus and add a link? We should totally ask them. I'm going to write that down. There you go. Ask for... <laughs> There you go, Monica. Uh, what's the word? Partner link. Affiliate link. Affiliate. That's the word. I mean, we haven't got to read this yet, but photography in here <laughs> looks great. Um, definitely want to read some of these. There's some recipes in here. Um, yeah. Uh, looks like there's about last year's Bourbon and Beyond. It just looks really cool. Yeah. Oh, and if you're curious, really curious about what it looked like at Bourbon and Beyond, I would uh, suggest (laughs) that you go to their face, like on their Facebook stories, they have, people could add stuff and you can see how muddy it was. Like, it's real bad. Yeah. Real bad. I'm surprised no one got hurt. Real bad. Real bad. Um, But yeah. Oh, the Booker Sip a While? Agreed, Matthew. That's been our favorite Booker so far too, but we haven't uncorked the Kentucky Chew yet. We had a little taste of it yesterday, but it was good. We'd already had some other things, so I think we had just sipped one of those cocktails, which was really fragrant. So I don't trust that taste. Uh Um, No, but yeah, I would. uh, Yeah, like to try that uh, soon. Here, we'll have to do it because we have to figure out what our favorite bookers of twenty eighteen was. But you know, it's gonna be tough since this is like a certain batch. But this, um, Bill Mead, when we're talking about nutty. It's warm and nutty. This might be up there on the list. I don't think this is offered in Kentucky because that's what the guy was saying. One of the guys from Nelson, uh, mm. Nelson Greenbrier Distillery was One there. Of the brothers, yeah, we met him. Uh, and he was saying that he didn't think this is available in Kentucky. We're like, well, Carl, send us a bottle. So we're, we're good. This is batch number two, 116.1 proof. Yep. It says. Mm-hmm. Tennessee only, it says. Tennessee only, yeah. Same thing with that. Bummer, because it's really good. Pecan and coffee liqueur. <gasps> that was Tennessee only too? I think so. <sighs> I know. Someone from Tennessee, help. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I want to put that. I need that for Christmas. Yeah. Let's get to go in some desserts and things. Larceny. You got a nutty note off of Larceny. Very interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Which you bought solely because of watching this channel. Ooh. Well, I do hope you liked it. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Monica. We appreciate that. Chad worked real hard on that video. Yeah, if you haven't watched our barrel pick, what's it like to go on a barrel pick video? Go go give it a view. Um, put a lot of time. That was two and a half years of uh, going on barrel picks. That was wrapped a... up into like a 22 minute video. So, so he had to go through a lot of footage because yeah. we were like, uh, we forgot all the stuff that we've shot. So <laughs> we got to figure that out. And I but... still had to cut a lot out. I know. So like I, I'm thinking about putting, starting to put like the stuff that got cut out. On like Patreon, just in more of a raw form. Yeah, less, less yeah. Uh, technical wonder, but yeah. still the info's there, mm-hmm. so that's good. Yeah. Um, someone was asking when we're gonna start keep up with our foolproof flight fights. Well, we had these episodes that we wanted to get out. I think this week's is gonna be an uncorking coming off of that intense editing, and <laughs> yeah. then we'll get back to. I think we may do uh, ba- uh flight two and three back to back in the next couple yeah. weeks. So yeah. they're coming. Um, our goal is to get all of them done by and released the by before the end of the year, but hopefully by Thanksgiving. But we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what other opportunities arise. You know, something comes out and we get a bottle and we're like, we have to uncork this now. Yeah. And then that pushes our episode schedule. So yeah, there's that. True. But hey, X L A X X laws X laws X laws favorite twenty to forty dollar bourbon. Hmm. Ooh, that is whiskey a... mariachi's here. Whiskey mariachi's here. Cheers, whiskey mariachi and X laws. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
That's a good question. Favorite twenty to thirty dollar. How much is rare breed? Rare breed is like forty. Does that count? Can I say that? Sure. Yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine. You know, there was a time uh, the McKenna is really good. I like it a lot, but because we've had a single barrel recently that I wasn't so wild about, I don't know. I'm kind of hesitant to say, but I love the McKenna Ten and I love yeah. Rare Breed. Yeah. If uh, if Knob Creek single barrel, I think it's over forty though. Mm. I think it's closer to fifty. I would say that it's a real strong, you know, contender, 120 proof. But yeah, rare breed. I would agree with that. Um, I mean, Wild Turkey 101 is no slouch. It's no, yeah, no, I really like that. I mean, that's my go-to pour. Like when I go out to dinner or anything, I'm just like seven dollars for this or nine dollars for Buffalo Trace, which is less proof. I'm gonna get the Wild Turkey because yeah. math. <laughs> because math. Because math. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean. You're talking that twenty to forty dollar range. I, I feel like we pick something at least a hundred proof. So you know, people may be saying like, you know, what about uh, Eagle Rare or something like that, well, which is like a strong Eagle contender. Rare. Yeah, but it's just ninety proof. Uh, I want the bang for the buck. Yes, you know? that's why we're saying rare breed. Um, man, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. E. H. Taylor small batch, albeit hard to find. It should be. Under 40. Should be. And that's, you know, a strong contender at 100 proof. Someone asked, do you guys get drunk or buzzed when you drink or both? Um, well, first I get buzzed and then I get drunk. If I, I get can, drunk, then I get buzzed. If I continue... <laughs> I reverse it somehow. <laughs> no, it definitely works. The juice works. The juice so. works. You can just listen to us talk um, later in an always, episode and, yeah. and, and, you, and you know. We're always a little more fun later in the episode. Yes. Sometimes I think we should film our episode intros for, um, like, the produced episodes yeah, last. Yeah, last. <laughs> because we're more fun. But it's that's also true. hard to remember details at that point. Yeah, so we're like, yeah, wait, what was that again? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, we're just like everyone else. Mm -hmm. We get drunk. Not on purpose, but... Not on purpose. Sometimes when you do a barrel-proof flight fight, it's just inevitable. It definitely happens. So, Kidding me? Yeah. Can't help it. Can't help it. Like picking a favorite child. That's true. Yeah. Nothing has been more true. Yeah. Hmm. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, scrolling, I'm all scrolling. caught up. Uh, would we ever... Okay, so a lot of people have been saying we want you guys to do your own barrel picks. This is difficult because maybe... Maybe... I just had an idea. Oh. <laughs> Do we need to take it offline? I think we do. Okay. Let me make a note. Well, we've I've talked uh, with someone about this before. We would have to have a certain amount of money mm -hmm. to be able to split a barrel between ourselves and a local spirit shop. Proprietor. Um, and then the question is, how do we get it to those people who are out of town? Because we can't well, ship. Well, it's, it's got to be a retailer that... That could ship. Can ship. And we know a couple. <sighs> Interesting. Hmm. But no, that's actually been a goal, is to have a barrel pick, have a bottle, and, and you know, you turn it over, you see that sticker, and it's got the Bourbon Night logo on it. We want it. Yes. I mean, that's definitely, that's a goal. That's a goal. And we would love to do a pick where it's, you know, Sarah and I, and then like eight or ten other, <laughs> other people. Right. Who have who have uh, who have come with us to oh, be on the pick? Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, because like that's you guys, what, right? To come on the pick with us. So I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah. Okay. Pick with us, and um, yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. But we have participated, like you saw, in a lot of picks, and um, like for example, uh, you saw if you watched our what's it like to go on a barrel pick video, you saw the ones we did. Um, we've done a few with Hops to Go, which is a local place here. Um, and they'll be coming out this fall. So I did a 1792. Pick. We got a lot of people who are already in. They're already in. Okay. <laughs> cool. JC, you were our first Patreon supporter? What? Well, you should be able to go on the pick. <laughs> um, Thank you. We didn't know that. That's awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, right. trivia. I think that we've got a little thing going here. So let us think about those details, talk to some yeah. people, and see what we can work out. Because... Like I said, it's cool to go with other people, and it's like that other, you know. A lot of people are in. Wow. Dang. <laughs> oh, that's right. 
I will pay any amount. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I told you. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we started Patreon. We've had a lot of bourbon since, since then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I believe me. <laughs> I believe him too. Um, so, anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. We have a couple picks coming out. I did a 1792 foolproof pick uh, that they actually picked the one I loved the most. We agreed, me and the store owner. Um, so that one's coming out October 20th at Hops to Go. We participated in a Russell's Reserve pick, which they picked one of our finalists. And um, same thing, Hops to Go, that's coming out October 29th. And then... Then I went on with Perry. I went on um, a, uh, a Buffalo Trace pick. It was actually... Three different Buffalo Trace bottles, two um, Weller 107, the antique, and one Blends. So those will all be coming out from Liquor Barn, mm -hmm. which is a, a retailer here in Kentucky, Louisville, Bowling Green, and Danville. So yeah. all in Kentucky. And then what else? We did a Four Roses pick with uh, a Kentucky Supply, KSD, Kentucky Supply and Demand. It's uh -huh. a Facebook group. Um, a Four Roses pick that should be out within and the next... Whiskey Bear. And Whiskey Bear. Yeah. That's right. And that should be out within the next few months, too. Whiskey Bear is a bar in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, in a place called The Summit. Hmm. They have this cool place called The Barn. It's basically like a food court, but it's more of like an upscale food court. And Whiskey Bear is in there. <laughs> and you can go there. You can bring in your food from the... What? No, go ahead. You can bring in your food. You can bring in your food. And, um, and there are awesome people uh, who work there. So that that'll you can have that there. This is really funny. Trevor said I'd sell my soul if necessary. Um, yeah, we're totally into Not necessary. This. We are totally into this idea. Like we knowing, don't accept souls. Knowing that people would, one, want to purchase bottles, and two, would want to come over, like come down to do the pick. We just have to figure out the right partner for this because we do have to partner. Yes. Unfortunately, it can't just be Chad and Sarah do a pick. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we will have to find someone. The good news about that, Monica said, hurry up and get started because you have to get on a waiting list. But right. the good news about that is a lot of these places are already on waiting lists. Mm -hmm. So we can chat with them and see what our options are. <laughs> oh, Monica will buy yourself. <laughs> hey, hey, Jason, Whiskey Wise, what's up? Uh, and Steve, thank you. He was saying that the, the, the thumbnail for the what's it like to go on a barrel pick is, uh, is a great picture. And it's Sarah. Leaning on a barrel, just, just dreamy. About the days that I'll be able to drink what's inside. I was between that one and this other one where she's actually hugging a barrel. There's but, another good one, yes. Uh, this one. Well, did you put that out there on? I didn't because I don't love it as much. I could go get the picture from the fridge. No, it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I'm basically just out. like hugging this barrel full on and it. I don't know. It's not my favorite Full picture on. of myself, Full but on he thought it was cute. But I like I the like other it. one better because it had dreamy eyes. So that's the story of how we picked our thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Good story. Good story. Oh, what time Speaking is of it? bourbon and beyond, is there anything else? I think I think we covered it all. Uh, mm -hmm. It got really muddy really fast. Like, like Chad's jeans were. It was bad. I, I'm just so glad I didn't. I was thinking about wearing shorts. Your legs would have been covered. There were people in like flip flops and stuff. I mean, your whole foot basically sank into the ground every yeah. time you stepped. So yeah. I was actually sore when yeah. I woke up this morning because of the effort. If you've ever, have you ever seen Tough Mudder? You ever? I've actually, we've done one. Um, I've done two, but yeah. Uh, if you've ever seen Tough Mudder, that's how muddy it was. You got some. We it gotta, was. I'm good. We got a cheers, Scooter. Oh, thanks, Scooter. Cheers to both of you. Cheers to you with a cowbell. Someone, someone else said that they would do Jaeger bombs for barrel picks. And I'm like, hey, as long as I'm not the one who has to do the Jaeger bomb, you, that's all you. <laughs> okay, we're going to we're gonna work on this, and it's going to be a thing. Let me let me ask you guys this. We've got about 10 minutes left here, but throw a question out there. What distillery would you most want to go on a pick of with us? Ooh, that's a good question. Because I'm not even Based completely on, sure if I know. I don't know either. Because as you saw I haven't from narrowed our, down. As you saw from our video, we have a lot of pros and cons, and the cons are very mild cons. Like, yeah. it's basically like, if you could change something, what would it be? Not, like, a downside. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think I also know, um, someone asked, what's our favorite proof range? I would probably say that 110 and 120 is my favorite, because I, I would feel say like 100 to 120. Really? Yeah, because there's some nice bald and bonds out there that we true, really true, like. True, true, true. 100 to 120. I don't dislike anything over 120. It's just you get to the point where it's like, 
How much you have of it one can or two I of them and you're enjoy? Like, okay, yeah, probably good. Probably good. Like I really love Old Forester 1920 because it's up there, but it's not so far up there. What does that say? What Which one? Say? Sarah, I thought you really don't like maker makers. The regular, uh, what is it? 90 proof makers. Neither of us are, are too crazy about. It. I think it's just a little too sweet for us. It's I don't too know. sweet. Yeah. But 46 and cast strength, we do enjoy. Love uh, the private selection, the 46. Yeah. Um, those. Yeah, again, cast strength makers, private selection makers, I'm all good with. I would love to have four of one right now, but we don't have any up here. The private selection. Oh, the private selection, um, sure. But, yeah, regular makers on the shelf, not for me. But I really think that they'd make great stuff when it's not cut down. So Yeah. But I think that's... Uh, poor so Australians. Theirs gets cut to 80. That's so we sad. Found out. Uh, so we got some... Knob boats. Creek. Knob Creek. Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. Trace. Knob Creek. Wait, let's go back up. I missed some. Um, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Okay, here Knob we go. Knob Creek. Wild, Wild Turkey. Turkey. Knob Creek. Heaven Hill. Absolutely Knob Creek. Knob Creek. Wild Turkey. Four, four, Creek, roses. four Roses. Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey. Four Roses. Wild Turkey. Buffalo. Knob Creek. Four Roses or or uh, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. I'll follow Turkey. you anywhere. <laughs> Knob Creek. Uh, the Crowded Barrel. <laughs> that'd be cool that would be cool yeah. i'd love to collaborate with I mean, them how yeah. fun would that be on yeah. yeah next bottle of MGP. eleanor or whatever else um now we've never been on a heaven hill so we'd really like to do that too i would like to go on a heaven hill doug doug doug, doug. <laughs> it doesn't work as well as i'm Wilson. never gonna live doug. With them. stop <laughs> he's interested in poll. that barrel pick hey you know what okay we'll do a patreon poll all the picks all the picks we got it I was getting there. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Um, we appreciate that a lot. Yes, that's awesome. I mean, I think in my mind, I would be between trying a new thing, so doing the Heaven Hill, because I love Heaven Hill products so much, Wild, uh, Wild Turkey, because Eddie Russell takes you. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's in the Rick House. Like, you it's get true. to try a lot of barrels. It's just awesome. I wonder who does... Or Knob Creek. I wonder who does them at, at Heaven Hill. If it's like Bernie. I don't know. Or if it's just one of their... You know, I would have to learn more before saying that's what I would want to do. Yeah. But the thing I love about Knob Creek is like when they let us take our bottle home that day, for me, that was it. You know, yeah, now, we got to put our thumbprint. I don't know if it's like that every time, but this particular time. The two I've got, yeah, the ones I've gone on. Okay. You have. So you don't have to take the bottle home and, and you have to buy it. You have to buy it there. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, all these other places like it'll be uh, one or two months. There they're like, oh, it's already dumped and filtered and cut to proof. And here it is, and you can dip it in your own wax, which is just really cool. Thumbprint in it. Jose! Hey, Jose! Thank you. Oh, Knob Creek twenty fifth. Early birthday present. Oh, I like that one. That was a good one, Jose. That was a good one. Um, in harmony. In harmony, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now twenty fifth um, is a great. See you, Joe. Is a great um, version of, of yes, Knob Creek. Yes, agreed. I yeah. personally like it better than the two thousand one, but that's oh, yeah. just me. Big time. I've had some people say no, but I yeah. disagree with that. Um, yeah, hanging with Eddie, Eddie Russell at Wild Turkey is great. And we could do maybe a Kentucky Spirit pick. I haven't done one of those See, before. See, okay, so the more we talk about this, the more, while I do love doing the Knob Creek pick, you only get to choose from three. So the more we talk about this, the more I'm like, I'm thinking... Trixmont. 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 Uh, the more we talk about Thank this, you. the more I'm thinking Wild Turkey because it's Eddie Russell. You get multiple barrels. We both love Wild Turkey. The setting is gorgeous. It would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, 2002 versus 25th anniversary. Mm, Ooh, have to do them side by side, side by I would side. say. Would have to. Only had that Russell's 2002 once, but man, it was magical. It was so good. So good. Oh, man. Now I'm thinking so. about it. Yes, I think the Cowbell Cheers is our, is our uh, what do you call it, consolation for not getting so loud. And, like, occasionally we'll do the little beat. But I don't think we're ever just going to, like, gong the Just, just gong the hell out of it. It's just too much. It's too much. We've gotten some feedback from our headphones listeners that it's not the best. It's a turnoff. So <laughs> we don't want to do that. Um, we don't want to turn you off. No, we want to turn you on. Sure, to bourbon. To bourbon. Um, and ourselves. But, yeah. So we'd have to do some more research, but... Right now, I'm leaning towards Wild Turkey. Oh, we have tried MB Roland. Kev, uh, Keith. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Keith, for that. Another cheers. Ah, I I'm love out. the harmony. <laughs> uh, do you want a little? No, you good? No, I'm good. Okay. 
Uh, we have tried MB Roland, and it's uh, actually pretty good from what I remember. Mm. It's pretty good. We don't own a bottle, but we went to a craft uh, spirits festival, had it there, and I remember it being like surprisingly good, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I can't remember. <sighs> I want to say they're the ones close to the uh, Speedway. I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure. I can't speak on this. I don't remember. (laughs) I can't speak on this. I can't speak on this. Um, What else was I going to say? Shoot. I lost it. Oh, well. Talking about picks? No. I don't remember. Nope. Something else. I just wanted to chime in. Mm. I think we're getting towards that time where this has done its job, and I'm also at that tipping point. Oh, we're... I mean, sorry for being so low energy this episode, guys. Um, And sorry for the red dot that I told you to ignore. Uh, (laughs) Where is it? It's right... There. Boop. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Spatially, I'm I'm not smart. <laughs> um, um, we're both not smart. Mm-hmm. Sorry for the low energy. It was after bourbon, bourbon and beyond. I hope was you understand. Exhausted. Uh, we really want to do this drinking through the bourbon trail episode. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. When we do that, we have to go get a uh, bottle of yes. The- <laughs> Sorry, she hates it when I'm I really do. That. do. Thank you, Jeff. We appreciate it. Since we're at the tipping point. Tipping point. Um, I want to go get a bottle of one of these. I really hope this like new collaboration thing from um, any of the new finished ones that they have coming out yeah. from... Uh, uh, Copper and Kings. Yes, Copper and Kings or... Why can't, uh, Bardstown Bourbon Company. I'm like, why am I blanking? I don't know. Um, Jose Nickel, Nickel City, City forever. Nickel City forever. Forever. If you're ever in Austin and you want to go have a great pour of bourbon, For go to life. Go Nickel to City. Nickel City. Jose. Jose. Um, but yes. But yes. So that's our plan down the road. Uh, soon we will do our trail. Yeah. And. I'm sure that episode will be fun because there's 14 different stops. So four, thank you, Jason. Tiny wise. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. I um, also want to say, hey, we got our October 6th meetup happening at Keeneland in Lexington, Kentucky. It's Sarah's actual birthday on the Yay. 6th. So come to it. We got some specially made challenge coins that you can only get at that meetup. So come. And, oh, you can drink for our, our infinity bottle that we've made, and our concoction. We're going to be bringing some other things. And I'll some other just things. go ahead and, and tell you. Food. I have my 2015 birthday bourbon I'm going to bring. Mm-hmm. Some uh, orphan barrel. Some orphan barrel stuff yep. that I've had. Um, of and, course, there'll be wild turkey there. Right, wild turkey. And uh, I think I have an Elmer T. Lee I'm going to bring. So I'm trying to bring some fun stuff because, like, yeah. it's my birthday and I want to celebrate. She wants to But drink. I also want to hang out with you guys. It's her birthday. She can drink if she wants to. I can to. do what I want. <laughs> So, so it should be fun. We got we're gonna lose our camera here pretty soon. So All right. well, we, we have to say, say uh, we have to say adieu. Adieu. Let's say bye bye. Farewell. Yes. All right. Oh, uh, happy birthday from Brian. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Wish Thank we you could so hang much. out. Hope with you could be there too. That, that or wish you could be there too. That, that would be, be nice. Great. Yeah. All yes. right. Well, we'll happy, always have Nickel City. We'll always have Nickel City. Happy Sunday to uh, to everybody, and uh, we'll see you next week. Right? Yeah. And until then, drink more bourbon. Bye, guys. <laughs>